Day two in the Misty Stoddard trial, Stoddard is accused of killing her stepdaughter, Melissa. A doctor took the stand today, and as our John Thomas reports, she explained how that 11-year-old girl died. Five o'clock, I talked about how emotion played a key role in today's testimony. A neighbor coming forward, talking about screams coming from the Stoddard home. Those screams belonging to little Melissa. Then Misty Stoddard's own son would take the stand and tell the court how when Melissa and his stepfather, Ken, came into their lives, Melissa, who was autistic, would throw fits, screaming and yelling. And that Ken and his mother would strap her to a board and duct tape her mouth closed to keep her quiet. All of which, according to Dr. Sally Smith, medical director of child protection team with the Florida Department of Health, would lead to Melissa's death. My findings were that the medical evaluation was positive um, for physical abuse with evidence of chronic, severe, and ultimately fatal abuse of this child. Dr. Smith actually examined Melissa before she died, and she said at that time she could see that there were already signs of brain damage in that there wasn't enough oxygen getting to her brain. This trial continues tomorrow and is expected to run the entire week. In Sarasota, John Thomas, ABC Action News.